I grew up in, in Dublin. We went to church every Sunday. My mother went to church every day, went to Mass every day. And when I was a, a, a teenager, I felt I had, even as a child, I felt a call to the priesthood. At least I felt an attraction to the priesthood. As I grew, the desire was stronger, but I also had a strong desire to be married, to have children. So, you know, like everybody else, I dated and went to college, and then I was working, I had a job, but still felt this very strong desire to answer the call to the priesthood. One day, one of the priests in our parish invited me to go to a live-in weekend at the community that he belonged to in another part of Ireland. I was really there for a rest because the work I was doing was pretty tough work. What happened after that was that over time, I thought more and more about the place where I'd, where I'd been and um, ended up going there, uh, preparing for the priesthood and being ordained. What was very interesting for me was before ordination, I would avoid at all costs any occasion where I had to be out publicly doing something. And that's part of the reason why I went to a monastery, because I thought, well, I don't have the natural abilities or talents to be a diocesan priest. You know, I, I liked people, but I wasn't a good people person. When I came to the United States, Father Manning, who I lived with at St. Albert the Great in, in Dayton, asked me to become involved in the parish. And over time, I became more and more engaged in the life of the parish. And the more I became engaged in the life of the parish, the more life-giving that was for me. And now that I'm a priest, I can't imagine myself doing anything other than being a priest.